usually whenever I talk about why I like a show, I kind of just go through the motions like, oh, it's fun, oh, it, it's funny, oh, it, it's cool. So I don't really talk about it because that just seems really boring. But Simpsons is one of the few shows that I can genuinely talk for hours about how much I like it. And I could probably give you a random fact about any of the characters that you probably wouldn't know. For example, the fact that Bart's hair is actually ginger uh, and it just looks blonde because it's sun dyed from him being out so much. Or like how one of Marge's sister's hair is actually also ginger, but it just looks grey because of all the smoke that she smokes. And obviously, since I spend so much time around Simpsons Media consuming it through osmosis, I see the average, oh, this was where the, the episode that the Simpsons jump, jump at the shark, and then it's usually like, Principal and the Pauper, and really, I don't get this. Like, I get that Skinner's a fan favourite, and they didn't really like the fact that they changed the law of the show surrounding him, but if anything, I thought it made sense that he overcompensated on being a nice, upstanding man, because he was impersonating someone. And also, sometimes people talk about the Tony Hawk episode, but the real answer, objectively, is the episode Lisa the Simpson. Uh, and honestly, I've never seen anyone talk about this. L like, really never. The only time I've actually ever seen someone talk about it is in Ellis Mark's video where he reviews every single Simpson episode, and that was only because he was obligated to review it. And even then, all he said was, uh, Hey everybody, I'm a stupid moron with an ugly face and a big butt, and my butt smells, and I like to kiss my own butt. <laughs> But really it's more than just that, it's like show breakingly stupid because it doesn't make any sense as a concept and even if it did make sense it would just be a stupid concept. That concept of course being the Simpsons gene. So Lisa's sad because she's lonely and pathetic and no one likes her, but speaking more specifically to this episode, she's sad because she had a kind of bad day at school, I guess. Now obviously this is a Lisa episode so you're not expecting much, but this could actually be a very good introduction to a very good episode. Maybe it could be a kind of Lisa gets an A plus styled episode where she figures out that despite dedicating your entire life to a certain career path or a certain field of study, that's just not for you and that's completely fine because your worth as a person isn't defined by your productivity. Or maybe they could talk about how the grade that you get at one point when you're 8 years old is not going to determine the rest of your life and your intelligence isn't based off of marks that you get on a school paper. All of these being, in my opinion, very interesting choices for an episode, but instead they choose to declare that actually every single member of the Simpsons family suddenly and miraculously peaks at an incredibly young age, with the rest of their life being an eternal spiral of misery and decay, just like the Simpsons. Now I'm not usually one to complain about mean spiritedness in shows because I think it's funny, but it's not funny because a character is being mean, because that's just called being a dick. It's funny because there's a setup and there's a punchline where the character is also mean. Or if it's just a show like Future Arm where everyone's mean to each other apart from Zoidberg, then that's just funny because it's funny. But then in this episode, Lisa's just incredibly annoying and for no justified reason. Like she catches Bart and Homer on the couch having fun and then she joins in and she also has fun. But then out of nowhere, just because they're eating crushed candy, she says this. No. No. No what? I don't want to turn out that way. What way, Angel Pie? Like you! Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin! Shut up, bitch! And she doesn't even receive any repercussion from this. The family that she was just making fun of and calling idiots is worried sick for her even after she just made fun of them and called them idiots. In fact, Homer goes in the completely opposite direction. Despite being the very target of her vitriol, he then goes out to find a bunch of Simpsons family members to prove that not every member of the Simpsons family is an abject failure because of this supposed Simpsons gene. Even though he could have literally just pointed towards himself, being the second most senior employee at a company where he is a nuclear safety inspector, under the richest person on the planet possibly, and he single-handedly manages to provide for a family of five, a cat and a dog, in a giant house with two cars, and who, when it really matters, cares very deeply about his family and does everything he can to give them the best possible life he can give them given their situation. Oh, but no, because he doesn't understand the intricacies of every cinematic masterpiece, he's an idiot and he doesn't deserve any respect. Like, even the episode Lisa the Simpson managed to make Lisa realise that, hey, if someone's making food, even if you don't really like it, you probably shouldn't launch it down the street because you don't want to eat it, and also vegans are better than vegetarians. But at the conclusion of this episode, what she learns is that actually she's exempt from the Simpsons gene because it's only on the Y chromosome, and as Lisa has XX chromosomes, being a girl, she does not have the Simpsons gene. 
so actually she's just destined for greatness or something like that. Now you're probably thinking, wait but this means that Bart is going to be a failure, what, what's the deal with that? To which the show responds, yeah he is, he doesn't care. End of end of the discussion, that's it, that's it, that's all of it. But then the real kicker for the episode is actually Lisa was literally just having a bad day. She that was that was it. Like she wasn't getting stupid though, she wasn't getting dumb or anything like that. She she just had a bad day and then she figured out the problem that was making her feel stupid. So the episode literally had no reason to exist. They had no reason to mention the Simpsons gene and they had no reason to mention that all of the male family members are gonna be failures. Now, normally I don't really like reviewing specific episodes because it's usually just the reviewer giving a playback of unfunny things that happen in an episode while making even less funny jokes. And as fun as being the nostalgic critic sounds, I would rather kill myself in a more enjoyable way, like drinking nitric acid. But I wanted to make this video specifically to point out not only uh, this incredibly underratedly bad Simpsons episode, but also to point out the fact that the entire premise of the episode, The Simpsons Gene, doesn't make any sense because the male members of the Simpsons family aren't stupid. My initial example was going to be the fact that Homer is legitimately not stupid, he just has a mental disability that understandably prevents him from making rational decisions, but this did come out at a later date from Lisa the Simpson, so you know I obviously can't fault the actors for not knowing that. And I've already mentioned the fact that Homer's brother was a successful businessman who made one bad decision that bankrupted him, not exactly the stupidest thing someone could do, but really honestly and truly the best example I could possibly give is the fact that Bart is in no way shape or form an idiot. Yes it's true that he has exceptionally bad results in school but the results you get in school as I have previously said are in no way indicative of how intelligent you are as a person. It could reflect it but when you consider the fact that he goes to an incredibly underfunded public school filled with teachers that hate him and want him to fail at every turn and the fact that he lives in an abusive household where every single academic or personal achievement that he makes is overshadowed by little Lisa Simpson the answer to a question that literally no one asked, then you can be at least slightly more sympathetic for him. L like it sounds like I'm trying to run the Bart Simpson fan club right now, but it's just baffling how he's treated as a joke by all of the writers of The Simpsons for some reason. Even though his only canon future self is head of the Supreme Court, it, I just don't get it. And like yeah, I know it's lame, but like it takes at least some level of intelligence, come on. And at that, this is still disregarding how incredibly talented he is in subjects like art or music. The school just doesn't care about this. And if you really want to underplay how bad the Springfield Elementary School is, consider the fact that for years they'd been hounding Bart to get good at French, and all it took was him going to France for at most a month talking to about three French people and then being fluent in French. Bart Simpson is fluent in French. How many French words can you speak? No, go on. I'm being serious. Yeah, that's fine. So assuming that you didn't say anything, you don't know any French. Or maybe you said like bonjour baguette or something like that. And I know what you're going to say. French is a dumb dead language that literally no one civilized uses. I, I, no one's disputing that. But so is Italian. And when Charles Martinet says the funny Italian words as Mario or Luigi, everyone claps their hands like seals. So why don't they do the same for Bart? And yes, even though I am disappointed at the fact that Bart is constantly overshadowed or overlooked as a slacker or an underachiever, it is infinitely more annoying that Lisa is constantly portrayed as this perfect Mary Sue type character and I don't really like using the term Mary Sue because it doesn't really mean anything at this point but when the rules of the show literally bend around her personal whims and what she wants it's hard to use a different word. There's a clear difference between them and I have no idea why there's this difference and another thing is why do they always want to show Bart naked? Like that's really weird. It, I, I don't get it. Why was that such a big thing? It, now I'm not saying you can't like Lisa, I'm just saying that I detest you and everything you stand for. I've literally never seen anyone in my life that likes Lisa as a character. Well, I mean, that's not really true. Some of my best friends who I cherish very dearly say that she's their favourite character, but that's really besides the point. I don't really like them that much anyway. You see, the main crux of this video is that I just want to sincerely get across that not only do I hope every single person that worked on this blunder was fired, but also beaten up very severely and turned into a fine batch of Torgo's executive powder. Please stop showing Bart naked. Okay, bye.